I want to add one more part based on today's testimony, and that is how did Ambassador Sutherland get there? You know, this is not a man who had any qualifications except one. He wrote a check for a million dollars. And that tells us about what's happening in Washington, the corruption, how money buys its way into Washington. I have made it very clear that this is impeachable conduct, and I've called for an impeachment proceeding. I just believe our job as jurors is to look at each count and make a decision. But let me make very clear uh, that what this impeachment proceeding about is really our democracy at stake. Well, the constitutional process of impeachment should be beyond on politics, and it is not a part of the campaign, but the president's conduct is. The impeachable conduct that we have seen in the abuse of power that we're learning more about in the investigations, but just to be clear, the president's already confessed to it on television. Ambassador Sondland, by his own words, told us that everyone was in the loop. That means it is a criminal enterprise engaged in by the president, from what we heard today, the vice president, the secretary of state, and the chief of staff. And so this not only points to the corrupt nature of this administration and the need for these impeachment proceedings to go forward, but it also points to another issue. And back to the question that you asked earlier, which is what does this mean for the American people? Because what it means when I watch this is that there are clearly two different set of rules for two different groups of people in America. The powerful people who with their arrogance think they can get away with this and then everybody else.